five three no teams right now that are left in the National Football League. The Chiefs, the Bills, the Steelers, the Vikings, and the Seahawks. So, guys, which three and team is uh, – is likely to get their first loss this weekend. Well, I think there's two of them, and it's interesting that two of the five 3-0 teams are actually underdog this week. They're both on the road, so that part of it makes some sense. But it's interesting that with only five undefeated teams left, uh, two of them are dogs, and let's just go over them because I think those are the most likely outcomes of undefeated teams losing. Uh, for me, Green Bay, it looks like Jordan Love's going to play. He damn near played last week, they claim, out in Green Bay. And you've got a Vikings team that... I think we're overrating still a little bit on the offensive side of the ball. What Brian Flores is doing defensively is crazy, right? No one saw that coming, especially with the injuries they suffered Mm -hmm. in the preseason. Uh, My main man, Greg Jennings, is afraid of the Brian Flores defense, wants to leave Jordan Love up on the deck where he's safe, but he's going to play in this game. I don't think Sam Darnold's all that good. I just don't. Uh, Even last week with four touchdowns, I don't think he threw for 200 yards in that game. So I'll start with that game. I think Green Bay goes into first place in the division, and they give Minnesota their first loss. Yeah, that, that's a possibility for me. I look at the game in Detroit on Monday night, and I, the Seattle Seahawks, I, I just, I picked this team to, to be, to finish top two in their division. But I don't see them going into Detroit and getting a win and coming out 4-0 simply because Jared Goff in this offense just hasn't gotten it going. Sam Laporta has been non-existent. you got to get him more involved defensively. This was the issue with Detroit, and now they're playing lights out. Hutchinson can get to the quarterback at will. Yep. So I, I really like this Detroit team at home in a hostile environment. The Seattle Seahawks haven't seen a team like them all year. This is going to be a different test for that I think team. Seattle's defense, though, is very, very good. I know, but you're the king of it's who you play. Yes. That, that matters, right? Yep. That's big for you, the Bills. Seattle's defense has been very good. Yep. McDonald coming over from Baltimore, getting in there as the youngest head coach in the league. Bo Nix, Jacoby Brissett, Correct. Skyler Thompson. Very fair. Those are the quarterbacks yep. that Seattle. So now you got to go on the road in prime time against that offensive line, those running backs, receivers, tight ends, and Jared Goff. I'm, I'm with you. And a little preview for Parkins picks like the Lions. And let's just get to the game, which is clearly the game of the weekend, because I think we have uh, uh, disparate views on how this game is going to go, Stinkeroo. And that, of course, is the undefeated Buffalo Bills on the road, underdogs against the resurgent Baltimore Ravens, who figured out last week against Dallas, run, 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 run. And then when that's done, run, 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 some more. This is going to be a party for the Baltimore Ravens, and you guys are all going to rethink your stance on the Buffalo Bills after they lose their first game of the year and the first game they played against a winning team. And I know my main man out in Phoenix, Arizona, is with me. Are you not, Mark? I am uh, actually I'm 100% with you. You know, I think the Detroit game, I think Detroit is a really good football team. I think they're going to win that game against Seattle. But this is the team and this is the game that I've really got my eyes focused on. And I do think, you know what, they found their formula. They went back to what's going to win. And that's handing the ball to 22 Derrick Henry and creating enough quarterback design runs to keep you honest on the defensive side of the ball. And then flip the script on the other side of the ball. Last week against Dallas, man, they were straight disrespectful in man-to-man coverage. They just said, you can't beat us. C.D. Lamb, you can't beat us. Nobody else on that team can beat us, Cooks or anybody else. We're going to go ahead and lock you down in coverage and give Dak Prescott nowhere to go. And that's going to be the first time a team is going to do that to the Buffalo Bills. How do they respond? We will find out. But I'm with you, Craig, 100%. I think Baltimore at home wins that game to go 2-2. Two and two. Wait, I, I mean, I'm impressed that you guys can have such conviction on that game. It's such a small spread, and these are two really good teams with two excellent quarterbacks. Yeah. So, like, I just – they obviously could win the game, but Buffalo's defense is not Dallas's defense. No. They, they are a very good defensive line, good pass rushing team, top six in terms of points allowed so far this year. So, we are like, oh, wow, Baltimore ran all over Dallas. Well, until the Giants game last night, everyone runs all over Dallas. Like, it, it will be more difficult – for Baltimore to bully the Bills defense than it was the Cowboys. Yeah, I just defense. I think this is a step up in class. Doesn't mean Bills can't win the game, obviously. Yeah. You know, they, they got Josh Allen. They can win and will win a lot of games. But, Greg, when I look at it, 
you know, it's like we, what you just said about Seattle, and you're right. Like, who have they played against quarterback-wise, right? Yeah. Well, to be fair, who have the Bills played against? Now they did what they're supposed to do, but this is a step up in class. And I think when the Ravens took care of business against the Dallas Cowboys last week, they recognized, like, I don't know why it took them so long for the light bulb to go off. This is the recipe for us, no matter who we're playing against. We've got Lamar Jackson. Use him. We've got Derrick Henry. Why did we acquire him? Use him. And I think you're going to see a lot of that this weekend against Buffalo as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you and Stink on this one. Look, And it's, it's not because... Like, I don't believe in the Buffalo Bills. Well, clearly I didn't believe in them. Because I didn't, I didn't have them making the postseason this year. So I'm probably one of those people that sure. find the, uh, Dawkins is talking about. However, when you think about what is going on with the Baltimore Ravens, like, when you start to find yourself, it's almost like a new lease on life. And so that's what happened against the Dallas Cowboys. Regardless of who, you, who the next opponent is, it's like, okay, we know what we want to be. Now we build on that. And defensively, I think their challenge is going to be, you know, when you're playing against an offense that has a weapon like a Stephon Diggs that they did last year, and you no longer have that, it kind of stre- it, t- it kind of forces your defense to now just play coverage and be able to do what they did against Dallas, where it's like, yes, we don't understand you got a, a star like CeeDee Lamb, but we don't even have to assign a player to a, 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 a superstar because you don't really have that. We just got to focus on the guy under center, yep. minimize what he can do, make it challenging for those other guys, and try to get this Josh Allen, who started last season turning the ball over, I mean, to good. show up yeah. in this Sunday's <laughs> game. I mean, good, good luck. It's the best Josh Allen has been playing all, all year. And, uh, yes, the Ravens seem to start finding their identity last week. The Bills have had their identity seemingly all year. Like They, they, they also were, hear, were hearing stuff out of Buffalo that the Bills are feeling great about themselves, mm-hmm. too. Oh, yeah, there's no question they feel great about themselves, and they should. They're playing really good. I don't know if this is going to constitute uh, a name drop, but I was at Tennessee's practice last year, Danny. I don't. This is going to be close. Just grab the thing. It may not be. I, I was just at <laughs> practice last year standing it. next to Derrick Henry. I, don't, no, I didn't talk to him. I didn't talk to him. So I'm not. I was just standing next to him, Danny. <laughs> and I thought to myself as I was standing, he's six foot three. He's 250 pounds. And I thought to myself, he's not from this planet. Like, the dude is a freak show running a 4 4 So is Josh I'm like, Allen. That's a different – that's a different uh, – let me tell you something. Josh Allen in the open field is not as scary to DBs as Derrick Henry is in the open field. And then with the running <laughs> game, when you, ma- when, when you match that up – with Lamar Jackson, I just think it's a different animal that they're going to face. We'll see exactly how they respond. But Derrick Henry is a difference maker. They need to keep feeding him 25 carries a game. That, That's that, what I think. That, that, totally fine. And, again, there's no guarantee coming from me that the Bills are going to win. But in terms of, like, most likely to lose, I just think it's a little disrespectful to be dis- that dismissive yeah, no, I'm, I'm not going of, there. of Buffalo. Because this game feels like we'll see it again in January. To me. Like, there's a lot of questions about a lot yeah. of teams in the NFL. This feels like we're seeing, like, divisional round of the playoffs in the cold. Yeah. And this could, this game could have tiebreaker implications. So, this yeah, feels big. I think this is all Baltimore all day. Wow. I, I don't think the Bills defense is all that good. I think uh, considering the quarterbacks they've played against. And, you know, Kyler Murray, week one, had no problem going right up and down the field against them. What's he? Oh, that's right, a pretty mobile quarterback. What's Lamar Jackson? Pretty mobile quarterback. So to me, that's gonna we're gonna see a lot of that uh, Sunday afternoon, and I just think sometimes you have to take stock of like we always say, who have you played? The Bills haven't played anybody just yet. There's a reason they're undefeated. Part of that is their own performance and Josh Allen, but much like we said about Seattle, who have they played? Nobody. And when you step up in class, we'll see exactly who you are. But I can't wait to talk to Deion Dawkins next week when they're one and three. To hear how kumbaya the locker room is uh, <laughs> after a big loss. Three and it's one. Coming. Three and one. No, no one. No one. I'm sorry. Yeah, three, 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 it would be three and one, and then yeah. you five. No one's worried about the, the Chiefs. I'm just thinking that. No yeah. one's worried about the Nobody. Chiefs. <laughs> Anyone worried about the Steelers? No. <laughs> Anyone worried about no, the Steelers? Nobody. Absolutely. Absolutely. No one is worried about the Chiefs.